Hello. Demi Demi's fam to another vlog and today I'm just going to clean the birds cages which so far there's all the cages everyone's over here it's so weird what I'm not talking to you Okay, so, like, I didn't want to start stuff yesterday, like, I know no one that I talked to in this situation watches my channel, so it's okay, but I'm just gonna give out the specific, the, the little details of what happened yesterday, because I really didn't feel like giving them out yesterday, because when I, like, when it was happening, I wasn't thinking about filming, and then after it happened, like, things kind of just cleared out, everything was okay, but I just want to tell you guys what happened yesterday because this is something similar to what happened during the coronavirus, blah, 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 stuff like that happened. And this all starts from the beginning of when summer started. Like, this has been going on for a while. Remember how I said Dylan has been avoiding me lately, and I was suspicious, and I thought I was being stupid and jealous, and I had nothing else better to talk about or think about, so I thought I was just being stupid, and not thinking about anything other than that other than being suspicious but I was suspicious one because the friends that I usually talk to weren't talking to me anymore and if they because they weren't talking to me I had no one to talk to so I was concerned what was happening and then the only solution came to my brain and that was they were going out again yeah from the very beginning I had a slight suspicion that they were going out but no evidence to back me up I even told people about my suspicions and no one really believed me which I mean Lindsay because she was the only one that actually cared but no one really believed me so things just went on Day by day, I just kept shut up, thought to myself, and just let things happen. Like, they still talked to me once in a while, but they didn't talk to me as much as 
they did when school was around before it happened. You guys remember how we went skating and then the next day I said I was going to take a break off social media and it was because of people that went skating with us? So, turns out, they were dating and I found out by not them, like, oh my god, why does that always happen? I always have to find out by someone else, but at least I found out in the end. But I found out by Lindsay that they were dating again, like guys probably don't see the big deal like just let the fuck just let them freaking date like why don't you just let them freaking date i'll tell you why what they were doing while they were dating one while ari was dating him she was talking about other guys and that's wrong two they were lying they whenever we asked them about this they always lied and when we went skating, they weren't being honest, and they were just ignoring us, and they didn't tell us. This kind of stuff can break someone's trust because they broke our trust. And, um, I'm, I kind of wish I had other friends, because, like, everyone's going to stab me in the back at one point, so, I don't know. I was sure it's just friends that are different like it's hard to find those type of friends that are different because so far I haven't found anyone that would stab me in the back like all the friends I made so far have stabbed me in the back and I don't really have anyone on my side except yeah I don't really have anyone on my side except me myself and I but yeah they lost my trust again even though they lost my trust after the Lucas incident and a big group chat happened because I got so pissed off to the point where I blocked him without thinking until later and I unblocked Ari first because she apologized even though she apologizes a lot and doesn't really mean it and she only tells us what we want to hear but doesn't really mean it and I really want her to mean it and not just say those things just to make us happy. But that's just not how she works. But, yeah. Um. There's a big group chat that happened. And then, who texted me? And then, stuff just happened like names were being called and lots of cussing and basically drama like I don't like drama when it has to do with my friends because in the end it's always I'm gonna lose someone just like um what happened before I lost a lot of people and I didn't really want to lose anyone during this time around. So I was not really... I was being mean, but not really being mean. A lot more could have been said for me if I wasn't trying to lose people. Because I didn't want to lose people. Even though they basically brought it upon themselves for lying and doing what they did like I was okay with them dating at first I had nothing against it but you gotta know there's a whole history on why it's a big deal and I'm not about to talk behind people's backs which I'm basically doing right now but you know whatever little rant but yeah there's a whole history behind why we have been against it it's just like a whole cycle that starts all over again like they break up get back together break up and yeah i don't want to be the person that tells someone what to do and who they can or cannot date but i don't want things to happen again to the point where i feel like i have to drop them both
because yeah um Ari was jealous of Dylan talking to other girls so he had to stop talking to me for a whole month and I was very confused on why and I kind of had a feeling that they were dating but in the end I'm just gonna say it ended off okay and I'm glad it ended off okay with no one dropping anyone because I didn't want to lose anyone again because like it's really hard to find new friends that are gonna stay by your back no matter what like there's gonna be people that you meet and then you just drift apart and then like I'm telling you I had more friends and then we drifted and then and stuff happened drama happened so if you're wondering why I don't have many friends drifted drama you name it um I hang out I hung out with wrong people last year so I got a lot of people to hate me so yeah besides the fact that I'm socially awkward there is a whole reason behind why I don't have many friends the main reason is that I'm socially awkward and don't talk to anyone at school but yeah it's really hard to make friends that will stay by your back at all times and will stab you in the back or drift because eventually the friends that you make are either gonna get either they're gonna, you're gonna drift from them because they never want to hang out or they're gonna stab you in the back I'm hoping that the friends that I got right now do stay with me because even though they have stabbed me in the back multiple times that we still had good memories and I don't want to lose them and I hope that we are best friends forever because so far I don't know man I lost a lot of people and I can't really afford to lose any more people because there's just so many people that I lost already but yeah that was my little rant for today sorry that you guys always have to listen to me rant all, all the time I don't really like bringing my camera in public so whenever I, I go out in public I don't really record anything like when I go to the store I feel really awkward just bringing out a camera every time explaining why so basically I have to talk about what happened in order for this video to be long enough to be considered a vlog because I want footage because this making vlogs every single day for each summer is a goal of mine to do because it gives me something to do because I have to edit and editing's fun so that's why I do them but like I said I don't really record in public so I basically just take the pictures and videos from my phone that I take because it's less awkward to take pictures and videos with your phone and just talk about what happened because yeah Turns the sun red.